Hello everybody, and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be comparing the performance of running TensorFlow on Docker versus the performance of running TensorFlow compiled from source on Ubuntu 18.04. We will run the test on single and dual NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti GPUs. Here in the lower left you see the benchmark commands. Here in the lower right you see the NVIDIA SMI window. Uh, as you can see the activity of the GPUs. In the upper left here, we have the uh, compiled from source version of TensorFlow, where we'll be running the benchmarks. And over here on the right, you see the uh, Docker image here, which we also have the same version of TensorFlow running. So anyway, let's get started. So basically, the first one we're going to run is the uh, ResNet 50 model with batch size 64 on one GPU. So I'll just go ahead and copy this and I'll paste it into the uh, compiled from source version of TensorFlow and we'll run this benchmark. See the results here, 298.34 images per second. Now we're going to run the same command here in the Docker container. Uh, I should note that all of these uh, tests are running synthetic data. So we're just uh, copying and pasting from uh, this benchmarks command file. And uh, the, the link to, to where you can find this actual benchmark test, I'll put these in the description. As you can kind of see early on, the performance of the Docker container is very, very close to that of the uh, native install. Uh, as you can see, 296.10 images per second. So the performance, at least for the, um, the ResNet 50 model, is comparable. So now let's run two GPUs. First, going to start again on the um, compiled from source version of TensorFlow. And there you go, 552.96 images per second. Now let's put that same command into the Docker container. Again, running two GPUs on the same, uh, same, same script, but just using two GPUs. As you can already see, um, the performance is very, very close to the native install. You see a slight degradation in performance, and you're going to kind of start to see a reoccurring theme here, how the performance of the Docker container is and should be very, uh, very close to that of the native install. So for the next one, actually, we're going to do the Inception V3 model. Uh, keep the batch size 64, everything the same, and I'm going to go ahead and run it here on the local native install.
and you see 196.16 images per second. So let's copy and paste that into the uh, Docker container and go ahead and run this. And not surprising, again, you see the performance is very similar. And we should note that this is running only on one GPU right now. We do one GPU and two GPU uh, will be the focus of this video. So uh, 195.18 for the Inception V3 model on one GPU running in Docker. And now we're going to run the same tests, except running two GPUs on the uh, local install here. Now this may seem a little bit repetitive as we kind of go through these tests, but the point is to kind of just show that running different models um, using the same batch size. Uh, on one and two GPUs, you really, you really do get good performance using Docker. Okay, there you go. That's the Inception V3 model, 364.85 images per second on the local install. Now, let's put that same command into the Docker container. And again, not surprising, the results are very similar. Okay, 356.10 images per second on Inception V3 running two GPUs. So the next one we want to do is the VGG16 model. And on this one, actually, you're going to notice that we're going to run batch size 32. And the reason we do batch size 32 is because originally, when we were first doing these tests, we wanted to run batch size 64. However, we noticed that uh, we were running into some memory issues. So uh, we reduced the batch size to 32 and, and so we could uh, showcase the performance that way. Okay, so 228.70 images per second. I should also note that this is actually running two GPUs. Uh, you can see in the lower left my benchmark commands uh, that the uh, number of GPUs should be one and then have this, the command underneath it should be number of GPUs two, but we'll, we'll flip that around and do the single GPU next. But the point is, again, we just wanna show that running these uh, different models under the same conditions using the same GPUs, you get uh, performance that's just as good. And in some cases, actually, if you look at this, the performance is actually very, very slightly better than the uh, native install, which is kind of interesting. 
It's not always the case, but you get numbers that are comparable either way, at least in the experiments that uh, we're, we've conducted here. So as you see, 229.34 images per second. There we go, let's change it back to one GPU. Now we're gonna run the same test on a single GPU, PGG 16, keep all the other settings the same, and let's go ahead and run it. There you go, 169.17 images per second. And run the same command here in the Docker container. And again, the uh, performance is very much the same, very close to what you would see running native install. So if you're interested in this, you can check our blog post for more detailed information. This video is just kind of just a showcase, um, sort of video evidence that <laughs> the uh, Docker does perform as well as the the locally installed, the native installed, compiled from source version of TensorFlow. So next one we're going to do is AlexNet. Now for this one, uh, here in the video, you're going to see that we basically left everything the same, the batch size 64, and what we what we actually found out l later on is that um, when you run batch size 64, it's not really the optimal setting. Um, I mean, it does showcase the performance, but you realistically, you're going to want to run the batch size uh, 512 or something like that uh, to really utilize both GPUs. You'll see in a minute when we run the dual GPU setup that the performance is actually going to degrade. So we definitely recommend uh, using a batch size of 512 or uh, experimenting with the higher batch size. And you'll see that here. And also in the blog, you can see some of the, uh, we run the performance benchmarks using the batch size 512. And you can uh, either check for yourself or check our blog to see uh, what kind of numbers we got there. See here, it's running two GPUs and you can actually see the performance has gone down. We're only getting like about 1500 plus or minus uh, images per second as compared to the you know, 2700 using a single GPU at batch size 64. So we'll go ahead and run the same command in the Docker container. Again, just to kind of show that the performance is similar. Obviously, this is not the optimal batch size. Okay, and that's it. So anyway, uh, what we've done is compare the performance of TensorFlow from source, compare that to the TensorFlow uh, running in a Docker container. Everything is the same, using the same versions of TensorFlow, um, same commands, same batch sizes. Just wanted to showcase that the Docker uh, performance is quite good. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned for the next one.